What's up guys? So I've done a lot of videos on Android TV boxes and a lot of people have been asking me a lot of different questions and what I've done is I've compiled all those um, frequently asked questions on Android TV boxes and uh, in today's video I'll be answering all those questions. So if you had any questions that you had concerning the Android TV box, stay tuned and be sure to watch the full video and if you have any other question that you want to ask other than the ones that are going to discuss here today just go down there in the comment section and write your question and we'll definitely come back to you so i have the questions written down here so i'll be looking down from time to time so the first question is what is an android tv box so in brief this is a device that runs on the android operating system designed to bring smart tv capabilities to a standard television. I think that is self-explanatory. So we move on to the second question. How does an Android TV box work? So it works by connecting your TV, uh, usually through uh, HDMI ports, and utilizes the Android operating system to provide access to various applications, games, and streaming services. So in other words, this is sort of like a go between, between those old television sets that are not capable of connecting to the internet and uh, play applications like Netflix and uh, all the other streaming services. So that's basically how an Android TV box work. Well, number three, what content can I access with an Android TV box? So this one, it really depends with um, what you're looking for. So think of it like this, right? If you've ever used a smart TV, you see that uh, you can access any streaming platform that will be available in your country. So that is exactly what the Android TV box can also do. So with an Android TV box now, you'll be able to install any application you want to use, uh, be it Netflix, be it Hulu, and all those different streaming services that you, you, you know of out there, you'll be able to watch the content from all those applications. And question number four, do I need a smart TV to use an Android TV box? Well, you do not need. The whole purpose of getting an Android TV box is to use your standard TV, those old style TV, uh, to, to work as smart TVs. So ideally, you do not need a smart TV uh, to, to use your Android TV box. Otherwise, if you have a smart TV already, there's no need for you really to buy an Android TV box. Number five, how do I set up an Android TV box? So basically, it is all about connecting your box to the TV. Usually, you use an HDMI cable, and obviously, you need a power cable that will go to your main mains. And the last step will be to connect your Android TV box to your Wi-Fi or to your internet. And then from there, now you'll be able to watch your, 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 your favorite programming. But there's a video that I've posted a while ago, so just scroll down the channel. There is a video that will help you with the setup. On number six, can I use an Android TV box on any TV? So the short answer is yes, as long as that TV is an HDMI port. Because all these Android TV boxes that you see on the market are connected to TV, to TV sets using HDMI port. So as long as that TV that you have at your house is an HDMI port, you'll be able to connect that TV to your Android TV box. Number seven, does an Android TV box require a subscription? So on its own, it's just a device that will help you connect. It's like your phone. Your phone on its own does not need any subscription, but the applications that are installed on your phone are the ones that might need a subscriptions. So on your TV box, if you install maybe Netflix, you need to subscribe to Netflix, not to the TV box itself. So the TV box on itself does not need any subscription, but for you to access content for you to, to access a paid content you need subscriptions but you can also watch things like um youtube that does not need any subscription so you can also access free content using your android tv box without subscribing anything but there are some services that will come with subscriptions number eight can i play games on my android tv box yes you can play but however these android tv boxes now they come in different sizes and different specifications so the games that you will be able to play on that Android TV box will depend with the specifications on that box. So when you're buying your Android TV box, make sure to choose the one with the specifications that will support the games that you want to play. On number nine, what are the minimum internet speeds required for smooth streaming? 
So the recommended internet uh, speed for smooth streaming is typically around 5 megabits per second for standard definition. But if you need full HD or 4K or 8K, you will need better internet connection. Number 10, can I use a wireless keyboard and mouse with an Android TV box? Yes, you can. There are posts that are there. There are USB posts that you can use to connect all those wireless uh, peripheral devices for you to use your Android TV box. Number 11, how do I update the firmware on my Android TV box? So this can be done by going to the settings menu or by downloading the update from the manufacturer's site and then from there you install those updates on your Android TV box. But you, you don't really need to do this frequently. Number 12, is it possible to mirror my smartphone screen to an Android TV box? Yes, it is, but not on all Android TV boxes. There are some that will allow you to do casting. So if you want to use mirroring and uh, casting, you have to check when you're buying your device to see if it's compatible with those applications. Number 13, can I use a VPN on an Android TV box? Yes, you can. You can install any application you want on this Android TV box. It's just like a computer where you can download applications and you install. So if you have a, a VPN that you want to use, just download it and install. You won't have any problems. Number 14, how much storage does an Android TV box have and can I expand it? So storage capacity varies with devices, just like with our phones. Our phones come with different RAMs, with different storage. So the Android TV box as well, they come from different suppliers with different specifications. There are some Android TV boxes that will come with just one gigabyte of RAM. Some will come with two gigabytes of RAM. Some will come with eight gigabytes of RAM. Just like with storage, some is six, uh, some is 16 gigabytes of storage. Some is eight, some is um, uh, two. So it all depends with the one that you have bought. So if you want more memory when you're buying, make sure to get a box that has more memory. And if you want to expand it, there are some where you can put an SD card uh, into the box. So it all depends with what you want. You are the one that knows exactly the, the kind of storage you want. If you want, let's say 128 gigabytes, go and look for a TV box that will support that. A TV box where you can put maybe an, an, an external SSD card that will add up to that storage that you want. Number 15, what are the audio and video output options on an Android TV box? So typically, Android TV boxes support HDMI for video and audio outputs, but some models may have additional output options. Number 16, can I connect external storage devices to an Android TV box? Yes, you can. If you look at an Android TV box, there are ports there, USB ports that will be there, uh, that you can use to connect, be it an external hard drive or a USB flash drive, you'll be able to connect. And some also have um, SD card slots, like I've already mentioned. Number 17, do Android TV boxes come with parental controls? Some do, some do not. So if you want parental control on your Android TV box, go and buy an Android TV box that has parental control. Not all of them we have this capability, but there are some that you get on the market that we have parental control. But 18, how often do I need to update apps on my Android TV box? So it's recommended to check regularly for updates uh, in the Google Play Store and update apps to ensure optimal performance and security for your Android TV box. Number 19, can I use voice commands to control my Android TV box? Well, there are some that can support that. There are some that come with Google Assistant where you can just press your remote and then you speak in commands into the a microphone on your remote and you'll be able to control your Android TV boxes. But there are some that do not have that capability. So like I, I already mentioned that if you want to control your Android TV box using voice commands, go and get an Android TV box that is capable of being controlled using voice commands. So look for something with Google Assistant. And last but not least, what should I do if my Android TV box is not working properly? So basic troubleshooting includes restarting the device, just checking for any software updates that might be available and conducting your customer support for assistance wherever that you'll have bought your Android TV box. So this is it guys, the most frequently asked questions on Android TV boxes. And if you have any other question that you want to ask us just write in the comment section and we'll definitely 
come back and answer you on that question and as always don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you're liking this video and if this was your first time coming to this channel go down there and click on subscribe and also hit that bell so that you'll see our next video the moment you post it my name is the duke of tech see you on the next one